Hi guys, this is a very different video from what I'm used to do. I usually talk about languages and about language learning as a whole. But today I feel like I want to do something very different. I actually just want to share with you a very simple yet inspiring message. That are always, always following your passions. Always following your dreams. Because when you believe in something you want, then there's nothing that's gonna impede you from getting it. You're gonna get whatever you want, whatever you wish for, whatever you long for. Actually, want equals can. If you want something, then you can get it, for sure. And I'm here to prove it. I mean, I'm looking back, I mean, I'm looking back at my life, I mean, about like, these 23 last years of my life, which are basically all years of my life, so far, like I've dreamed for many years, since I was a child, I had a lot of dreams, and most of them already got true, just because I really believe in them, and I did whatever possible in order to make them come true. That's it. I mean, I, I was like sure that one day they would come true, they would turn into reality, and they did. And they did even before I thought it would be possible for them to get true, to become true. And that's like the most magic thing. Yet it's not so magic. Actually, it's just the truth. It's not like magic, it's reality itself. I mean, if you put all your efforts into something you want, like every single day you put like some minutes, some hours according to whatever you're dreaming for whatever you're dreaming about but if you put your efforts every day then you're gonna get everything it's like building a house every single day you put a brick and at the end your house is there so it's just a matter of like really making some efforts, like doing something concretely and you're gonna get to the point you wanna be at. Like in these years, I've done a bunch of things that I would never thought, I, I didn't, that I never thought they would become true, they would be real before I was 25 or 30 or 40 or 60 or whatever. I mean, I'm just 23 and I did a lot of things that I wanted to do and I'm satisfied with my life so far. And I think the best is yet to come because really, if you don't stop dreaming, if you just keep dreaming, there's always something new, something great you want to achieve and life gets just exciting because every day is just like a new challenge with yourself. Like, okay, today is a new day. Where do I want to be like next year or in five years or in 10 years time? Where do I want to be? And how can I get there? What is the fastest way and the easiest way? And so you decide, you decide how to do things how to get what you want and you just work it out. Just put your efforts and just struggle for it, you fight for it, and at the end you're there with what you wanted. And this is really amazing. This is how life works actually. And I want to share with you like a little bit of my achievements. Like I'm a language lover, I'm a fan of languages. And therefore, I'm really happy learning new languages and actually I want to learn languages for all my life. Like I started to learn English when I was in school and at that time I didn't even like English a lot. I mean, it was a language and it was kind of difficult at first. I was like, why should I learn something I'm first to? I don't want to learn it. But like, then time passed and I just started to realize that English is beautiful and that it was also useful. That it would open me many more doors than I thought. 
and before I just kept learning it and right now I can speak it of course I'm making mistakes but I don't care everybody makes mistakes I mean you're probably a native English speaker and of course you speak correctly most of the times but sometimes you yourself make mistakes and you know it it's normal I make mistakes in Italian which is my mother tongue and so there, this is not a problem at all but I mean I'm okay so what, what I'm was what, what I'm saying is that English was my first foreign language then many more came and look what I look what I got here this is the way of culture this is a Bulgarian language course and it's in German not in mother tongue because it's not available in Italian before I'm learning Bulgarian through a German book which is pretty much cool, but I do it because it's my passion. And this is a Romanian language course. This is in Italian. This is in Italian, so it's not a big problem, but I mean, I like it. I'm doing it and I like it. And this is Spanish. I already done that. And this is German. I already done that too. And Brazilian Portuguese, another language I like a lot. I already learned that. And this is my next goal. This is Swedish. A language I've been always fascinated by, but uh, haven't had the time to learn it as of yet, unfortunately. But I'm gonna do that. Languages are my passion, my number one passion. And I'm sticking to them. I wanna stick to them all my life long because really for me learning languages is just a game I do it for fun and there's nothing that's gonna stop me from doing it nothing but look at this this is a crime story and the harder is me I wrote it myself because I really wanted I really wanted to write a story, I really wanted to write a book. And so it happened one day in my life that I said, okay, let's sit down, open my personal computer, and start writing. And I wrote a lot. Actually, it's not that big. I mean, it's not that big. It's like 180 pages, which is just normal. But I liked it. I mean, uh, I enjoyed writing. And there's many more to come. I, I still haven't found an editor, but I'm looking for one, and I'm sure I'm gonna find one. And this small booklet is a poetry book. This is another book of mine. This is the first book of mine, actually. This contains poems I wrote during my adolescence. I started when I was like 13. And I ended up when I was like 19 or something, yeah. And uh, this one hasn't been published, too, but I'm pretty much sure one day it will be published as well. Also, because I'm keeping writing poems because I like it. And I mean, I know I will do it, I will manage. And you can manage too. It's just a matter of believing in yourself, it's just a matter of always staying true to yourself. It's just a matter of following your error, following your dreams. You're gonna make it. You're gonna do that. You're gonna succeed in life. If you want, you will. If you want, you will succeed. And another big passion of mine is traveling. I've traveled all my life so far. I've been to many countries, but I remember like Till some five years ago, I was like, hey, 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 I've been to 13 countries. I'm this great guy. I traveled a lot. But actually, 13 countries, it's not that small number. It's not a small number, but it's not a lot, though. But in the very last five years, I managed to travel even more. 
and right now I can say I've been to 30 countries which is actually more and uh, I haven't stopped traveling I will keep traveling all my life long I've been to the United States probably you're watching me from there guys just know you have a great country your country is really beautiful and I'm very looking forward to coming back there but I also been to Russia Romania Georgia Serbia Macedonia Sweden United Kingdom Turkey and other countries and they're all really beautiful I think the world as a whole is amazing is wondrous so guys I just want to tell you a very simple thing always stay true to yourself always believe in your dreams always follow your arrow never stop dreaming you're gonna make it you're gonna succeed in your life you're gonna do whatever you want you're gonna do it